Yo, hello, hello, welcome to the elephant in the room. My name is Aaron and today's video will be about SERPs, which is the trade-free search engine. So, welcome to a new video. This one is about SERPs, which is the trade-free search engine. But first, I want to show you that if you go on Google, then there comes a pop-up which is basically saying that they collect all kinds of data about you. So basically, what are you searching on Google, at what time are you searching it, from what device and from what location. So they collect all that data about you and then they will also show you ads to make you buy something that you might not even need to just yeah sell you a product or so. And then they will also share that data that they collect about you with other partners, of course, like other companies, they just sell it to them to make a profit. And then you can read more about that and then they want you to agree with that. But I'm like, fuck you, Google, I won't agree with that. I don't want to trade my data and my attention to you for those search results. I'm going to use a trade free search engine instead. And I can just search for a trade-free search engine if I go onto the directory tradefree.org slash directory and then I get a couple of different search engines which are trade-free and don't want my data, don't want my attention and so on. And the one I'm going to talk about in this video is Cirques because that's the one I'm using every day kind of. So Cirx is not a proper search engine, if you will, because it doesn't index the web, it doesn't index the websites in the internet, but it is a meta search engine. That means it collects the results from different search engines and then just shows them to you, but without any trade involved. So basically you are not trading your data to Cirx or your attention. It doesn't show any ads and so on. So it is trade free. And the cool thing about it because it is free software and you have access to the source code on github you can also host your own instance and that's super super cool because that makes it decentralized so there's not single entity like not one or a couple of google servers that you are forced to use but there are plenty of different search instances and you can choose whichever you want to use and you can find a list of those different search instances on search.space and there is also our instance which is hosted on tromland.org I can just show that to you as well so basically we have tromland.org where we provide a couple of services as trade free and we also implemented search the search engine um, to provide it to people and you can just click access and then you have access to our instance. But if you don't like our instance, you can use any other instance that are listed here. That's the beauty of like if something is trade free or free, you can just choose whichever you want to wish. And what I also just wanted to show you, which is maybe useful for you, is when you like click on a search instance and you want to add it as the default search engine in your Firefox browser, then you can just click on the three dots and click on add search engine. And then in the preferences, you can select it as the default one. So, but now let's get to SERPs and let's check it out. Um, if you just search for Carl Sagan, then you get different results. And basically, as you can see here, there are different categories like images, IT, map, music, news, science, and so on. And here are the general search results. So usually you can also see the Wikipedia article in the right top corner basically and then here are some suggestions and you can even share the link of those search results with other people if you just copy that link and you can even download the results and you can even subscribe via rss to the search results which might be useful if you need it 
Then, as you can see here, we got the search results from different search engines like DuckDuckGo or StartPage or Wiktionary and all those different search engines. You can also um, customize that. That's what we're going to do later. And then you can also see there is a proxied version. So basically you have access to the page via the proxy of our server of tromland.org and maybe because the search result is blocked in your country so you can use that proxy link and then there's even a catched version that means basically it is archived in the internet archive there's archive.org which stores basically every kind of website it makes a snapshot a screenshot of it and you can access um, the article or the search result via the Wayback Machine. So then you can also select different languages like I would choose now German because of course I speak German so it would look like this and but let's go back to English and then you can also select the time so basically from last year, last month, last week, last day and any time. Let's go through the different categories now. So if we go into files we get different results from torrent websites. So basically uh, we can download different ebooks from Carl Sagan now or an audiobook from Carl Sagan. We can also search for Earth from Space by BBC. And then we should be able to download the documentary and that's what we get. We can just um, copy and paste the magnet link into WebTorrent or any other kind of torrent client. And then we can watch the documentary. Then images is pretty much straightforward. You just get different images. And then IT is another thing where it um, collects the results from like for example the Arch Linux wiki. For example I can just search for Manjaro and then we can see different results from Codeberg or from github.com are also from GitLab and wiki archlinux.org and so on. And then map is also pretty much straightforward so I can just find I can just search for Berlin and then get the open street map link. And then in music you get different results from different music platforms so basically from SoundCloud or Mixcloud and Deezer and so on. News should be also pretty much forward so you just get the latest news about the things you are searching and then science is a cool category because you can just um, yeah find results from different scientific websites or magazines let's just check out climate change although it's pretty much oversaturated like everybody's talking about climate change but as you can see here, there you get different results from different science websites, I'd say. And then social media and videos should also be pretty much straightforward. So I now just want to show you if you go on to preferences, you can customize SERGs as you wish. So you can set up the language, you can set up the autocomplete feature from different search engines, you can customize this theme and so on. And the cool thing, if you go on engines, you can see here where Cirx pulls the results from. So these ones are activated and the other ones are not activated. So you can also customize that as you want. And then you can even save that. And um, you got the link here, you can just copy it. And then you have your settings all the time with you, basically. Um, you can like, activate or deactivate the different search engines also in the categories so you can see here where it pulls the results from so that's the beauty of it you have the freedom you can choose okay i want to have results from deezer or i don't want to have those results that's basically up to you and here in news and science and social media and videos as well and then on plugins, you can also, um, yeah, here for example, um, activate HTTPS so that it redirects you to the HTTPS link instead of the HTTP link. HTTPS is more secure. And you also got some other um, features here. 
and then there's also answerers i'm not exactly sure this is probably if there would be some cookies stored on your computer but apparently there are no cookies defined so no kind of data um, transfer or data trade involved so yeah i think that was it i mean basically you can just check it out yourself if you go onto search.space and you can choose any kind of instance that you would like to use and yeah you don't have to use google or DuckDuckGo or start page anymore because search is basically like pulling those search results and provides it to you without any trades involved you don't need to watch any ads anymore you don't need to trade your data anymore you can just simply use Cirques and I think that's great. It's a super cool search engine. So yeah, that was it from here. I hope it was useful for you in this video and the next video will be probably about another trade-free good or service. I mean, we got now a trade-free operating system. We got a trade-free search engine, a trade-free video editor. So let's see what the next trade-free thing is. And I'm just gonna say, See you in the next video and as always take care and much love.